Hi, my name's Rick. I'm a management consultant. Today I'm having a quick talk about motivation. I've been reading a bit about motivation lately and I find that many people misunderstand the concept. So much is written about how to motivate staff, let's hire a motivational speaker, we need a motivation program at work. And the truth is you can't really motivate people because all human motivation is internal and people are always motivated, either negatively or positively of course, but they are motivated within themselves and because it's an internal process, for you to say you can motivate them, it just doesn't work that way. The thing that does work, to some extent, if you're good at it, is you may be able to inspire them, which is perhaps a better term. Uh, the term of motivating people is a, is a misnomer. So, first of all, motivation. Motivation, as I said, is an internal process. It's a process whereby cravings and wants, or unsatisfied cravings and wants, make an action to satisfy those cravings and wants seem attractive. And if an action that someone can take will satisfy what they are looking for, they'll move towards taking that action. So the first thing is it's internal and it's a craving or a want. The second thing is that all people are motivated at all times, as I said earlier. The third thing you should remember is that people's motivation will change constantly. What might have been uh, a great thing for them yesterday won't necessarily be today because their situation changes constantly. The other thing is all human motivation is selfish. In other words, they are selfishly trying to satisfy themselves. It doesn't mean it's malevolent or nasty. It just means that even good actions, uh, the same as bad actions that people take, are to satisfy their inner needs. So. How do you inspire people? Having an employee for the month deal or more money, people say give them more money, that will inspire them. Well, that won't work. The reason that uh, money in particular won't work is because once people get the money, they say, well, I should have deserved it all the time. Uh, why haven't I been being paid that before? The promise of more money for, for effective performance may be a motivator, but the actual money does nothing. Because, as I said, once you've got it, you always should have had it. It's just a human nature to think that way. So, if you need to have motivated people who are positively working towards your vision or your goals, you need to get them to understand that if they align with your vision or your goals, that they are better able to satisfy what they want out of life. So, how do you find what they want? Well, the best way to do it is ask them. Don't have a management meeting in an organisation say, let's motivate the staff so we'll have an employee of the month deal and they'll all be proud. Because some people might want more flexible working hours, they might want better working equipment, they might want better job satisfaction, uh, they might want to get involved in more interesting projects. There's a whole range of things that, and issues that people are interested in. And if you want motivated staff that you've inspired, firstly you have to align them to your vision and show how they will benefit by being aligned to you as the leader. And secondly, you have to show them how that alignment will satisfy their needs and wants. So forget about, I can motivate the staff or I can motivate people. You can't. It just doesn't work that way. But if you want to inspire people, find out what they want and then prove to them how you're their best chance of getting